Hi everyone, it's Wasim here. So in this lesson we're going to learn about something called Automate Batch within Photoshop. Now remember in the previous lesson we worked on something called Actions and that helped us to cut down on our workload by applying specific actions to one image and then we were able to apply them by touch of a button uh, to any other image that we, we liked. But in this one what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Automate, Batch. Now what this does is it's going to grab, uh, let's just go into the, let's cancel this and let me just quickly give you an overview of what I'm going to show you. We have a folder here called Original, which I made earlier, and in that folder is a whole bunch of images and their uh, dimensions are quite large. If I just hover over there you can see that the width is 2496 and the height is 1664 okay um, let's close that and a folder here with nothing in there whatsoever so this is what we're going to do there's the empty folder there and there's the original folder there we want to put all these images into there but we want Photoshop to apply all these actions. We want Im uh, Photoshop to change the image dimensions, change the levels, make it nice and bright, make it nice and sharp, and we want Photoshop to save the finished images in this folder called Completed. So actually, you know what, we can just leave these open for now. So we'll go into Photoshop, and the way we do this is by going to File, Automate, and batch. Now up here in the section of play it it's asking us what set of actions do we want to apply to the images that we're just going to work on and it's going to be these ones here that we worked on okay so you can see here we named it resizing and we call the action start didn't we so that's showing up in here the other ones are default actions so we're going to stick to resizing okay um, if you can hear anyone in the background, that's probably my neighbour. She looks after children during the day, so it's going to be a little bit noisy, and I apologise for that. But uh, let's go into source. Now, the source folder is the original images, the source, the images where we're going to, uh, the folder where we're going to get the original images from. So we're going to choose that, and it's on the desktop, and it's called original okay so we're going to click OK and then we're going to go to the destination folder and this is I'll just click on that and this is a completed image so um, we want to get all the images finished and the destination is the folder called completed nice and easy so we're going to click OK and then it says here override action save as commands now we're going to choose here and I'll explain to you what this means oops sorry let's click on uncheck that and I'm going to click on it and a little message comes up and this is very very important it says when this option is on like it is now files will be saved to the destination folder only by save as steps in the action if there are no save or save as steps no files will be saved and I'm going to click OK. What that means is, do you remember when we uh, carried out these actions, we also left the record running when we saved it into the destination folder, which basically means that if we go back to this file automate batch, go back and choose our uh, original and our destination folder, which is completed, we want to override any save as commands okay so basically what we're doing is we want Photoshop to save these actions as well save save the images okay so we're going to click OK and when I click this it's going to start doing it and just for your information immediately after clicking OK I will not be touching Photoshop I won't be 
moving the cursor around so it's just to let you know that the rest of what's about to happen is Photoshop taking over so I'm going to click left click on OK so can you see over here on the right hand side it's running through the actions over and over again and that is much quicker than I could you know anyone can possibly do manually at least consciously anyway so we're going to let it go through all the images and there was quite a few in there okay it's done that's nice and quick so we're gonna just close that and look at that folder now it's filled up with the exact same images except now if you hover over let's go to the original images actually we'll hover over this one and you can see that the originals are still intact the width is 2496 and the height is 1164 and we'll look at the original okay and we'll just click here to see the original size and we can see that it's quite a large image and we'll close it and we'll look at the exact same image in the completed folder double click on that and we can see that it's all brightened up sharpened put to 600 pixels um, and saved as well um, and there's nothing for us to click here because that's the actual size so it's been made slightly smaller so that's what Photoshop has done it's grabbed all these images put them all into here and we'll just run through them actually make make sure that they're all done can you see that all nice and sharp nice and bright perfect to put into a, a set of images for a portfolio or if a client had handed over you you know a hundred or two hundred even five hundred or even a thousand images it, it would have done exactly the same thing it would have resized the whole lot sharpen the whole lot within a few seconds and you can see they're all all done okay so that is the power of automated batch within uh, Photoshop now remember this this specific lesson is better to be watched um, immediately after the actions uh, lesson the, the the one previous just in case um, you've decided to kind of just skip a few and just watch this automated batch it may not quite make sense so it may be worth going back and watching the actions uh, lesson again okay so that that is it I hope you're going to use this tool because it's really going to come in handy uh, and I look forward to showing you an extra tip in the next lesson and thank you for watching